Good morning. I'm back again to present you today's headline of Ukraine. U.S. to allocate nearly 14 billion in military and humanitarian aid to Ukraine. The U.S. of representative voted to allocate 13.6 billion to Ukraine. Thus, Congress decided to support Ukraine, which is at war with Russia. The U.S. House of Representative passed a bill on funding public funding with the allocation of Ukraine aid in, in the amount of $13.6 billion. U.S. does not support transfer of fighter jets to Ukraine, Pentagon. The United States does not support the transfer of combat aircraft to Ukraine, including Polish MIG-29 fighters. This was stated by the Pentagon spokesman John Kirby. First, we believe that the best way to support Ukrainian defense is to provide them with the weapons and system they need to they need most to replay Russian aggression, in particular anti tax and, and air defense. U.S. believes Russia may be dropping stupid bombs on Ukraine. The United States has seen signs that Russian military is using so-called unguarded bombs to attack Ukraine, which is great, greatly increase, increases the risk of miss. This was stated by high-ranking responsibility of U.S. Department of Defense according to European U Truth. Chilobi NPP is completely de-energized. De As a result of the hostile action by, of Russian invaders, the Chilobi nuclear power plant was completely de-energized. The hostile continuum which now makes work and resumption of supply impossible. And cargo is monitoring the situation and will inform about changes, the message says. Only direct talks with Putin can end war, Zelensky. President Zelensky reiterated that he is willing to consider more compromises to end the fighting in Ukraine. This is a position he has held since the beginning of the war. But the head of our state does not allow betrayal of Ukraine. The other side should also be ready to make compromises. That's why they are called compromises. We can't talk about the details, yes, Zelensky said. Subscribe for more headlines like this. Thank you.